Hey, how's it going today? And today I'm excited to bring you this tutorial for quick and dirty UV unwrapping and to get started. This is primarily meant for beginning light wave people, if there's any out there. I don't know how many there might be, but I know UV unwrapping can be a little frustrating in the beginning. So I just wanted to do this quick and very dirty intro to UV unwrapping and kind of going through the whole thing so you can play around with it and start figuring things out on your own. But I know when you're first starting, it can be frustrating to know where to begin. So that's what this video is about. So here we go. So we're in Modeler and we just click over here on Box and you just click and drag in the top view and just click over here it can it is nothing fancy it's just a regular old box so you can make it any size you want two things to know that until you hit enter the object is still dynamic so you want to hit enter and that commits the object and then the other thing is you want to put hit, hit f2 or to just keep it centered it's it's always good to keep your object centered at the the origin zero 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 okay now we've got our object this is about unwrapping right okay so to get started, there's a function called ABF unwrapping that'll unwrap your object and then that allows you to take it into a paint shop program, more than likely Photoshop. Hopefully you got an older version of it, but you'll need to take it into a, a paint program. Once we've got our object made, we go and click down here on the bottom on edge because what we need to do is define some seams for this. So uh, you can just follow along and uh, uh, follow me. You got to get shift on your keyboard and we're just going to select there 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 and there there and then we just come up here and we click and drag on that and we can come around on the other side and click it and to me it doesn't matter if it's the front or the back i just want you to see the basic process of unwrapping it but i you could say that this is the back of the box because forward looking towards z is actually the front now that we've got our, our object selected the seams selected and just select them as i select them there and you'll see how this unwraps in a minute, but it's basically going to look like a T. So what we do is we come over into map and then we come down here to ABF UV unmap. Oh, the other thing we can do is come up here in the top view and we'll go to UV texture. We can kind of zoom in on this. So we, or you click in this box here and then just hit A and that fills the screen. Okay, so now you got a full view of everything. The exciting thing is they've got this amazing ABF UV unwrap that will unwrap the object along the scenes that we've created. And you're excited about it. I'm excited about it. So let's unwrap it. <clears throat> what happened? I, I thought I pressed the button. Hmm. Well, you know what? This is going to, this is might be one of your frustrations is you need to hit F8 on the keyboard and bring up the vertex map. So the vertex map, this was an initial frustration I had. You've got to click here. And then you, you've got to put a click box, check that box right there, and there's your unwrap. Because initially you'll be like, what the hell? No, you're smart sticking with Lightwave. So anyway, there's our unwrapped object. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to, it's good to sometimes get this away from the edge. So if you click, first come down here in the corner and you can click in that corner and that unselects things. And then you can hit T. This will just move the object and you can move it away from the corners. And if it's still a little too close to the edge and it looks like it is, you can also come over here. If you go to modify, you can choose the size tool and just bring it down a little bit. Then click T again and just put it more in the center so you're not so close to the end. And that's it. So you also want to make sure to hit the space bar and deselect your tools once you're done doing whatever it is you did. So now all you got to do is just come here to save, save object, and we're just going to call this, um, I don't know, I've done this a few times already, so we're going to call this box. 77 and we go save it's also good to save all the objects because uh the uv map is in its own separate little space and it'll be saved as under the name unwrap so it's in existence so now what we got to do is if we come over here to this little icon there in the corner we can make just have this one window open the the uv texture window open by itself and we can go back just by clicking that we want to have this window open and then we want to hit a again and that fills the screen with our map that may be a little too much so let's just back out a little bit there so we see the edges of everything and this is where it seems funky but you got to hit print screen on your keyboard so you want to take a, a screenshot of this screen and once you press print screen on your keyboard then you can go into Photoshop now I've already been messing around with this so we're, I'm just gonna do new okay I'm just opening this up as a, a new file in a what did I do new file 
1920 by 1080, just large enough to be sure to fit the, and then you come here uh, to edit, and we're gonna go paste special, and go paste in place, and that's our and that's our screenshot. Well, however you want to, you know, bring the image in to uh, Photoshop is is uh, or whatever your program is is fine. And then, um, you know, I'm just looking at this, and for some reason, that is that the right screenshot. Let me let me go back into model for a second. It seems a little too close to the edge too. So let me I want to let me make that maybe that big. Let me hit print screen again. I'll go back into Photoshop now. And you know, I'm just gonna close all these other files I got open because it's kind of bothering me. And I'll go through this again. So file new. I have this at 1920 by 1080. Go okay. And then we go edit. We're gonna go paste special, paste in place. Yeah, that that looks better. Okay. So now we've got our image, our screenshot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come over here into crop and we're just going to click and drag, begin cropping this thing. So actually, if you hit uh, control plus, you can make it even bigger on your screen in Photoshop and then just tighten up these edges and, and just crop to the edge of the, this thing and just go around and, and put that right up the edge, right on the edge, pretty much right on the edge. Right on the edge, and that's a little over the edge there. Right on the edge there. Right. I'm having a hard time get dragging that right now. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, and then I hit enter, and click up here, and that just kind of deselects it. So we've got our image. Now this is going to be a background image, really only for for reference. So what you got to do in Photoshop is come down here and add another layer. And this is a layer that you can do whatever. And you know I'm just putting in whatever. I love you be unwrapping whatever you want to write. And just play around, you know, just, uh, you could even, if you wanted to, you could, I'm hitting control T right there to resize this. You could, you could put whatever you want on here and you could even try numbering the, the boxes, the, the sides of the boxes. So you could see what, what you got exactly there. And that looks good enough to me. And then, uh, just for fun, I'm just going to grab the brush tool. Oh, go ahead and apply the transform and we'll just grab the brush tool here. Uh, just grab something, uh, I don't know, some other color. Oh, let me make a new layer another layer, get the brush tool, and then I'm just going to, you know, this is not, this is just for fun, right? And I'm just going to drag some marks here and on the sides of the box right there, All right? And nothing fancy. So then when we're done, what we'll do is we're just going to go file and we're going to go save as, and we're going to save this as a PNG file, just like that, PNG. And I'll just call it, I'm just calling it Z, that way I can find it easy go save like that okay and then we're done in Photoshop thank goodness now you normally you might be there might be a certain texture that you want to add so you're gonna do that and that's a whole nother tutorial on that okay so now we're we're actually back in modeler here everything's saved and what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop on over and send it over to layout let me see is that that's our box right let me just clear select it because I want to make sure that I think that this is a uh, might be another box. Let me go back into Modeler and send the object to layout. No, oh, that's the box. Okay, I was wrong. So now we've got our box uh, selected. We're just going to go into the uh, surface editor here. We're on the default. I didn't give any this surface any special name or anything. So then we go into the edit node. Edit node, the node editor. This is where all the magic happens in Lightwave from now on. And you double click image and you're going to double click image here. And we're going to load up that image that. Uh, I had the Z pick right there and there it is. And then what we got to do is we just got to link this up here. Now this is where I think it's fun and this is where you need to just play around with Lightwave. Of course it's all whacked out right now because we don't have the maps applied yet. So to do that all we have to do is come down here to UV mapping, UV map, and then put that image uh, on unwrap and there it is there's our image that we created in Photoshop one thing I should I should point out if I go back in Photoshop I didn't I didn't make invisible the background layer so that's why it's showing through the but there you know 
I forgot to toggle that off. That's only a reference image, so you want to toggle off. Anyway, then once you have this, you can click the VPR to see what it kind of looks like. And then, of course, if you're on the object, you can click over here and change the... I think we want to change the bank of it. And then we can... If we turn the heading, we can have it like that. And then if we click on camera, we can increase our sample just a little bit here to maybe you sit up better quality and then if we wanted just to animate this all we got to do is drag the cursor all the way to the end and then come over here back to rotation and then just uh i think it was heading right yeah make sure i'm oops sorry i messed up gotta make sure i'm on the um yeah i want to make sure i'm on the object before i do that before i move the playhead so move back there and then just turn here on the object and we can keep spinning it and then we've got ourselves a little animation so it's not so maybe boring and that's it that's your quick and dirty introduction into uv abf unwrapping and how to kind of get started with playing around with it there's a lot to this program there's a lot to texturing a lot more i haven't even scratched the surface of it but i just wanted to put this together just to give you a quick way to get started with playing around with the uv unwrapping and then bringing a texture in and applying it to your object so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find these helpful. I'm a firm believer in Lightwave and I'm, I'm all in on it. Okay, well, take care and have a great day and I'll talk to you later.